Over the past couple of weeks, we've been building the largest piece of furniture for our bus conversion, a one-of-a-kind kitchen countertop. After adjusting our plan, holy crap, and overcoming more than a few obstacles, finally ready to cross a major milestone. Now we're ready to install our TV lift door and mount our TV lift into its cabinet and see one more of our tiny home dreams turn into reality. This is something that we were dreaming about more than two years ago. We're Mela and Don. And we uprooted our lives and left Los Angeles with the dream of converting an MCI D3 40-foot bus into a tiny home on wheels. We are sharing our progress one bite at a time. <laughs> what? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> <laughs> morning from the good times bus except I don't really feel like I'm having such a good time because it's winter and it's reached that place in winter where I want to hibernate <laughs> but we got a bus to build yeah it was uh, 16 degrees when I came into the bus yesterday to do a little bit of measuring and whatnot so not a good weather to be working in that's for sure in order to lift spirits and get the good times rolling in the bus, we're gonna put on some good tunes and get to work. Our jobs for today are to finish staining the TV lift door. Don's gonna start prepping to actually secure down our countertop into our cabinets. We asked my dad to come in and help us because this is definitely a three or four man job because our countertop is so big. Coming out. First. Okay, ready? Yep. Come out here. That's yeah. good right there. We had three of us lift it up out of the way. And we use Sikaflex as our adhesive for our countertop to secure onto our cabinetry. Yep, pivot from the back up slow. Just hold it in place. Turn it out there. Yep, okay. Now, if you're not familiar with Sikaflex, it's an amazing adhesive. We've used it on tons of stuff for the bus. And it has an elastic quality. It's made for vehicles, so we know that it's gonna be okay to flex and move about, but still keep a bond between the countertops and our cabinets. We put more Sika Flex across the cabinetry where our support beams for our countertops would hit, and then we got the silicone out. We put silicone all around the perimeter of the sink to glue it down and to make it watertight. Can we lift the whole thing? Um, Back there, slide towards the corner for dad's side. I've got wire problems. I know. Okay, go ahead and let it come down. Are we sure we're in the right place? Well, we've we'll got to move it around to get it. Okay. Kind okay, of a little bit over the edge here. Far over yeah. Yeah. Let me come back to you until I'm flush. A little bit more stuck. Right there. Lift it up a little bit, then it sucked right back down. Good. <laughs> we did use two inch screws and some washers to screw up in through the cabinets into the countertop to suck it down into place. The Sika Flex is really going to be what holds it in place though, and those screws are just there to temporarily keep it snug until it sets up. It feels solid. <laughs> you could probably rock the whole bus. Yeah, the whole bus is moving. Feel the bus moving, moving. <laughs> yeah. You know what's in here. Yeah. Right. Okay, we 
it looks really good. You just got to be flexible with all the happy little accidents like Bob Ross says. Every time we use this stain, this Ruby Almana coat, I'm just blown away at how beautiful the wood becomes as soon as you put it on. I mean, it blew me away with our main piece of countertop, but just doing this little door, it was like, wow, it's gorgeous. There's no partnership with them. It's just my favorite stain by far that we've used. We do have some leftover planks of wood, small pieces. So we're finding ways that we can use them in the bathroom for some ideas that we had. The wood is so beautiful. There's just no reason not to use this beautiful wood. So we're gonna put biscuits into these two planks of wood and glue it together quickly because this is gonna turn into our shelf that's gonna hold our towels. Oh, how do you like being back in biscuit town? <laughs> I like it because I know what I'm doing. We've done it before, and I'm like, oh, I know what to do. It's much more fun gluing little things like this together than <laughs> remember how stressful it was to glue the countertop together with those long pieces? Yeah. Today we gotta wait for things to dry and that means we have a trash day to finish the day off. Today we're working on making our soap holder and toothbrush holder for the bathroom. Our bathroom is definitely a challenging place, so we try and keep this little shelf as simple as possible and we're thinking we're just going to make it a corner shelf to get it out of the way as much as possible over our tiny little sink. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love, this night will be okay, waking up to another day. have a little bit of sunshine today. It's a little chilly, but this is pretty nice compared to the past few days we've had. So we got the cats out, getting us all some vitamin D. Did forget my jacket in the bus. I wish I'd brought it out. Stun's method of staying warm without his jacket. Done when I got my jacket and got too cold. But we got all the wood prepped and I've cleaned it with the mineral spirits. So we're going to go inside, have some lunch, and then I'll come back out and stain it.
them, they look wonderful once again. I'm gonna let them dry and then I'll show you what it is we did today because I'm not sure it makes 100% sense to you yet what we're making, but when it's dry, we'll kind of put it together and show you how it works. I promise you I would show you what we made so you could make sense of it today. So this is our soap holder, toothbrush and toothpaste holder. It's going to be a little corner shelf into the wall out of the way that houses everything in the bathroom. And then we made a shelf. So this little shelf is going to go above our toilet and house all of our bath towels. Which means now we're ready to install our TV lift door and mount our TV lift into its cabinet. When we first designed our layout for the bus, Don got most excited about our TV lift, entertainment center, come fireplace, desk, multi-purpose thing that we're making here. And he designed it. So if you've been around from the beginning, you'll remember like way back when, when we first got started with this bus, Don built this cabinet because he was excited about it. she goes. But we couldn't finish because we started from the back of the bus moving forward. We couldn't actually finish it until now. And so the day is finally here. Now in a normal house, uh, you would probably secure the foundation of the TV lift with screws. However, since it's a moving vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and bolt it to the back frame. Ah. Did you keep losing it? Let the drill bit fell down. There we go. One down, three to go. This is another one of those things that there's got to be a better way to do. You have to lick your finger, then stick the washer <laughs> on it, and snake it back behind here. Oh yeah. All right, two down, two to go. Guess what? One to go. <laughs> no? Did it. We're all tucked in. All kinds of hardware here. Not one, not two, but three different kinds of remote controls. Bottom, bottom, looks good. So eventually we're gonna get this wired up. We're gonna have the power coming up along here, around, down, and into the back of the cabinet. But for right now, we're just plugging it all in underneath here to get everything working. Now, we raise it up. There it goes. I'll hold this in place. brackets are secured in the back of this monitor. When I first moved in with Don, we each had our own houses, so we were pulling together a lot of furniture and belongings because we had, I had a full kitchen and he had a full kitchen, for example. But we had like four TVs in total in a house and I thought it was ridiculous. I was like, we shouldn't have more TVs than we do people. I am well used to it now that our kind of computers are our TVs too, so <laughs> we're probably always going to have more computers and monitors than there are people. I think we'll probably get a bigger one for the front. <laughs> We 
We're using SOSS invisible hinges, so when the door for the TV lift is closed, you won't see those hinges at all. It's hidden inside of the wood. We'll put a link for those hinges down in the description, plus the other videos of us making the cabinet for the TV lift and how we made the holes for the SOSS hinges. such a long journey. This is something that we were dreaming about more than two years ago and when they, those things finally start coming together. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it feels substantial to actually have something we worked towards for so long finally come together. Originally we really liked the idea of having a TV lift just because we wanted it to go away and not obstruct the view through our window. The TV lift that Touchtone sent us is super solid. And the monitor that we've got on it right now is a 27 inch monitor. We might go ahead and go bigger. We're not sure. <laughs> Man, I always want to go bigger. Our sofa will be opposite the TV so we can lounge around and watch TV. Underneath is our touchstone fireplace which looks cool and will help keep us warm on those nights that we're cozying up in front of the TV. The TV lift also will act as a monitor stand and Mel's computer will be hooked up to it. That way she has a standing desk up at the front of the bus. We still have to figure out a few things like wire management and cable management and getting some power into the areas, but that'll all kind of work itself out, I think, once we actually get power over in this area. So we want to say a big thank you to Touchstone for partnering with us and making another one of our tiny home dreams a reality. We'll include a link to Touchstone Home Products in the description below. It is another chilly week. We're not really made for winter, us <laughs> too. <laughs> Our plan was never really to stick around in the winter time. So we're leaving. If your video monitor is not working, please let a flight attendant know.